Good morning. Yes, the garage is still there. I still have not moved. Not properly anyway. Um, we've been doing some stuff to the new house, such as painting some walls, building some big furniture, getting poorly blister from screwdriver. Like so many screwdriverings that yeah, I got a blister. And that's a cut from a wardrobe. And there's another one on this hand somewhere that's also from a bit there, from a bit of chipboard and stuff. Dangerous work. Um, spent all day yesterday moving all of this stuff down. So the sofa went over to the new house. My sofa went over to the new house. Saturday morning and my coffee table because I wanted to get them out of the way um, so that we could fill this space with stuff to move over because you know bit by bit in it um so I paid man with van um well he quoted like 30 40 quid um but he was like oh 20 quid love so that was nice um to move my blooming big sofa around and stuff so that's cool so we got something to sit on over there um, and then I also built a cabinet, and which is lush, and um, a garden, like thing, little mini garden shed thing. Um, and then I've also got my new wardrobes in there and my new bed. So that's cool. But yeah, so today, um, yesterday was a bit of a hectic day. We moved mum's wardrobe, all of that today gonna chill out a little bit because I am cuffuddled and um, so I've been writing lists every day of like things that I need to do like, each day so little by little I'm crossing them off and they have to be literally like take the rubbish out wipe this down otherwise my brain is just so today's list of stuff is post because it's a Monday, I've got to do the weekend's post, even though it's depressingly low. I mean, yep, order some more meds. Um, I can't remember if I had like another tray of them. I mean, I've probably packed them. So I'm going to order some anyway, because um, I'll just tell them like, look, I'm moving and I think I packed them. Should be okay anyway. I've got to wait in for a parcel here, which is nothing to do with the house. It's some jewellery because I needed to like chill out. And so I've just bought like four bags of jewellery. I think I spent like 50 quid on it. And I was like, oh, I just need to like, to just do a little bit of sorting and go, Ugh. Then I'm going to take a trolley load of just kitchen stuff over to the house. So just like jars of food and things. And then I've got to wait in for a yodel delivery over there of um, just a little bedside table thing that I bought to put my laptop on, um, which I know I've got one <clears throat> in my room, but I don't like it. And I'm like, new house, new furniture. Why not? Nice new bedroom stuff. So that is all my plans for today. I'm not going to overexert myself. Um, I have had carbs for breakfast i ate carbs yesterday as well because at the moment like i don't know where anything is and i'm just like but toby Garvey, go on then that was pretty much it and this morning i had lovely warburton's orange flavored fruit loaf Ooh, right nice anyways i've got to somehow get to my stock cabinet i did leave a little path to it so that's okay and I've also got some stuff in the garage to take. Um, <clears throat> so my stock is still here. I am still here. And they're going to be like the last things that move will be my stock, my mattress and my cats. And I cannot wait for them to get in the house. I know they're going to be nervous and will, you know, 
be scared of the move and everything but I genuinely think they're gonna love the new house because there's so many like windowsills that are sunspots and like stretchy out in the garden places and yeah can't wait anyways I'm gonna go get what's sold it's not much it's like 13 things if that I think really rubbish weekend but I think a, a few people have had poor times but I'll be back in a second like magic but not Oakley doakley this is what is going out this morning so we have got a blue glass beaded necklace vintage one really lovely actually um 16 pounds 31 a french no french made a dutch milk made plastic money box vintage one 10 pounds 19 a vintage dress which would have sold for a lot more but it had some faults on it unfortunately so that went for 17.99 auction this uh straight went multi-strand rather good lingard style necklace 15 pounds a vintage concord uh, key ring 6.99 this tribal dyed bone necklace And I know that that's broken now, but it's not, it's just folded over. Phew! Um, $5.99. This Top Shop Gold Black Jumpsuit, $7.99. So I'm trying to run down um, the some of the clothing that's been hanging around for a while. This Vintage Damascene Rooster Brooch, $6.99. This um, Palm Bracelet that you wear like that rather unusual isn't it went for 7.99 a retro chunky chain necklace four pounds 79 a belly dancer style belt you know like the chain belt that jangles 9.99 a job lot of broken sterling silver bracelets 29.99 a job lot of european charm bracelets 18 pounds a Dolce & Gabbana bracelet, £13. A blue glass, rather lovely blue glass. Check um, Bohemian ring, £12. And a job lot of sterling silver solo dangly earrings, £23.39. So that's what I've got to post out today. I am going to do my large letter stuff first through Royal Mail, through um, eBay. And then I will show you how I am now doing um, my parcel slightly differently. Ooh, how exciting. Hmm. Hello. I've got five parcels left to do. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing them slightly differently now that I have a Collect Plus two doors down from my house, which is very handy. So through the top cash back, see how I've got it saved as a tab. So through Top Cashback, there is a link below if you want to sign up and I get a something if you sign up using my code. I don't know what it is, but it's there and no one's ever used it. So that's great. <laughs> um, yeah, so I go to Parcel to Go because then I will get, I think it's like 1% cashback. Um, and also now that I will be paying VAT. Yeah, anyway, we don't talk about that just yet my accountant will worry about that stuff anyways you can do this thing um you can either click on stop smart send or ebay delivery it takes you to the same thing but basically you can link it to your ebay account and it will come up with all of the parcels that you want to send so that's why i did all of my large letters first because i don't want to send letters this way i only want to send parcels this way sorry i should be covering up people's details there i might just have to cut that out a little bit but basically, I'm going to um, put in all of the sizes. See, it says like three ready and then two not ready. The two not ready ones are the ones that um, that will need the weights put on them. That's the word. Anyways, I will show you in a second, maybe uh, the next bit. Right, so I had to skip a couple of steps because obviously I had people's um, information on the screen there but um yeah so i um add all to basket i've got like a standard 
like parcel size which is like um like under a kilogram and under um a certain sizing like small parcel sizing and this is the total including VAT which I will get to claim back um for five parcels and um so it works out cheaper for me because I was using um Hermes now every uh, to pick up my parcels for a cost of £3.66 each. So quite a nice saving to now just like deliver them or send them, take them to the cart parcel plus collect. I'm not very good at words today. Um, to take them to that place. Um, yeah. See, that's like very handy. Yay. And then back on my awaiting postage da, da, da. there we go oh god hooray i've been on the phone to talk talk for like half an hour now like trying to change the date of like moving house because it was like too far in advance and stuff and um I, I want like internet from next week please and i don't understand why they can't do that Grr. anyways uh but I've had a delivery of jewellery and I'm just going to sit here and um, kind of chill out and stuff. Um, Mum's gone to buy a table that she's seen, a second-hand one from Heart Foundation Shop and arranged delivery on that. Um, I do have a parcel coming to Yodel to the other house, um, but I've, just in case I'm not in, not there in time, I've arranged for it to go to the spa. <laughs> So I can pick it up from there instead so that I don't have to like rush around and you know be in a certain place at a certain time and then I've been on the phone to my doctor I've ordered my meds I've done that I've changed my tv license type thing and um yeah this is meant to be chill out day I'm gonna chill out with some jewelry I'll see you later and show you what I've got if there's anything interesting in there Right, well, here's my uh, the results from my four bags. So, so I got four bags of two kilogram jewelry from Bernardo's. These are the ones I've rebagged as two kilogram lots. That's a bunch of broken stuff. And then these are the things I'm gonna sell. Um, so about a kilo, which is pretty good for me. So that's some vintage stuff to go into a vintage lot. That's some pearly stuff to go into a pearly lot. And then some interesting chunky necklace, so a bit of faux amber, some nice kind of tribal-esque glass beads. These are really, really heavy beads, and they've got sterling silver clasp as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, kind of ethnic-y tribal type ones, some more faux amber ones. This big chunky black one. This quite nice stainless steel one with a um, little sparkly channel set like clasp and then some unusual bits so just a nice uh bangle with some like it's not silver unfortunately but never mind um cute little swarovski heart a little vintage cameo necklace this one is signed xc which i found out is zio zio mara castro so there you go so um not huge money, but I thought the necklace was just quite nice. It's got like a touch of, you know, a bit Regency about it. Um, this one, which is like reverse painted, like tiny symbols, uh, some scrap silver, and then five nice bits of silver. So a little swallow, two bits of mother of pearl, this lovely little heart, and then this gorgeous silver bracelet, which is quite pretty. So um, yeah, I'm all right with that. I also bought some lunch, went over the road and got some some reduced stuff and some more bin liners. We. It is now about four hours later. I know, I'm a total mess. I've been sorting out my wardrobe. Um, so that's that's a job done. Because, um, yeah, Heart, uh, British Heart Foundation are doing a collection of clothes tomorrow. I cannot get my hair to look decent because, mm, anyways. Yeah, so I've sorted out the clothes to donate quite a bit some really nice stuff stuff I've never worn typically but there we are I've also done three parcels that's my afternoon post so get them sent as well and I've packaged not packaged up I've loaded my trolley with um my accounts because um 
they're gonna go under my bed like forever well for like seven years so um considering that there's no mattress on my bed right now in the new house i might as well put this stuff in before the mattress goes on top and then exciting stuff anyways let's uh grab all of this shiz and go over to the new house so at the new house i'll give you a quick squeeze but not the full tour uh, that's my unit oh this is my my living room by the way so this is my living room and that's the kitchen bit of a mess at the moment that's my granddad's pictures bit of a mess but isn't it lovely and big that's the garden out there which doesn't look like much but there it, there it will be trust me it's a smaller garden but a bigger house and um through here this will be my ipe room with my photography wall and there'll be shelves all around here for stock and a desk and things and a bit of sunshine oh i'm pooped anyways as you saw at the beginning, I had a parcel just then, didn't I? So that's something else I've got to frickin' build. So this is like a bedside cabinet type thingy. So I might get on and do that, such fun. So here's the hallway, we oh, hey. Down there is the, the east wing. That's mum's wardrobe in the corridor there. And she's got an ensuite down there. This is the west wing, this is mine. That's my bedroom with a bed in it. This is my dressing room. Come spare room, because there will be a spare bed in here as well. These are my new, huge Ikea wardrobes. And uh, this is where I keep Narnia. They're lovely and big. All this soft clothes shenanigans. And then that's just some stuff that's come in so far and shells and oh it's so nice nice and then in here is for now it'll be a bit of a dumping ground but i'll also let mum use this room um post box over there very handy collect at four o'clock but yeah this is box room for box room stuff anyways i was gonna go and build a thing wasn't i to go in here. And there you go. It's not particularly exciting, but it's something to put my laptop on, so that's okay. All right, just in case you thought I'd shortchange my mum out of the garden, that's my eBay room, by the way. Let me show you before it starts proper raining. So, yes, it's smaller, but it's still a decent size garden, see? So, plans are to extend this border all the way around there into an L shape, make it about a meter wide. And then, see where we've got a nice like railway sleeper to sit on, isn't that lush? Swing chair there, and see they've got some troughs and troughs and stuff, and have like a nice seat down here, and lots of pot plants and things all the way down here. And then on the pergola, gonna grow some like honeysuckle and stuff, and swing chair over there, did I say that already? bird baths and things and then through here beware of the cats um so for tools and things so i built that the other day and then we might have some just shelves in here it's a shame that the, it's not covered but that is like an electronic roller blind thing which is very handy um but yeah, so I mean, we might get some corrugated plastic or something to put over there to make it a little bit sheltered, but you know, it's more space for for plants and a car. <laughs> and there's a security camera up there as well, which is the spas, which is quite handy. So it means that um, the back of our house is covered by cameras too. Pretty awesome. But yeah, 
I love my house. And also this echoey room right now will be mum's front room. Look at that fireplace. Isn't that gorgeous? We've got to block that up though. Make sure Azumi doesn't disappear up there because she's a bugger. Yes, you. Back home in time for, believe it or not, this is leftovers from yesterday's Toby Carvery. I know, it's insane. We asked for a two portion thing and we've got like two dinners out of it each. Amazing. Mm. I've pretty much packed up my bedroom, which is like, it's weird because that means I'm kind of ahead of schedule. Um, you can see all my Vivian Westwood and other such bags that are coming with me. Um, yeah, I've got to now, for one, like, kind of put this vlog together and to bed. <laughs> see what I did there? But also I've got to kind of make myself semi-presentable because I'm going down the coach. Because um, my friend from London is down for a couple of days. So I'm going to go and, um, yeah meet up with her in the pub so I shall say good night for now um I shall maybe see you later in the week I don't know I'll try and give you an update on stuff anyways at some point but until then uh, bye bye now bye bye <laughs>